Hello, and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about cat holders and HSK holders, or you could also say steep taper versus HSK. A steep taper holder, such as a CAT40 or CAT50 or BT holder, has what's considered a 724 taper. So 724, pretty much the same way you'd reference a roof a rise over run type of scenario. But it's a very long, uh, shallow, tapered angle on that tool holder. And it fits within a mating pocket in the machine spindle, and it's pulled back via the drawbar into the spindle. But that's all that holds it into place. It's just that drawbar force pulling it back and the fit from the outside taper to the inside of your spindle. In most cases, it's not very rigid. And what happens, is what we've talked about before, is you end up with fretting along the gauge line where this holder is vibrating and moving so much that you end up with fretting marks all along the top edge of that shank. And that just proves the rigidity is not that high for a steep taper type holder like a cat holder. Now, when we talk about HSK holders, well, they are a totally different style of design. An HSK holder has a 1 to 10 taper. It's very, very shallow. Look how short the taper length is. Now, this is an HSK 63, and it would be the closest mate to the CAT 40 as far as performance and tool size offerings. The HSK holder does not have a pull stud on the back. The gripping mechanism actually goes inside of the tool holder itself. It expands and grabs a ledge on the inside and it pulls it into the spindle. As it pulls it into the spindle, it makes face contact and full taper contact because it does slightly deform the taper by pulling on the inside. This gives you a very, very rigid uh, set up to your spindle. It's roughly six times more rigid than the CAT40 style. An HSK holder has much faster tool changes. Now, why is that? Well, if I look at the HSK taper length, you can see it's very, very short compared to the CAT40. And if I overlay them, you can see how much more a tool changer has to move for the CAT40 versus the HSK. That means your chip to chip time for an HSK holder is much, much faster, making your machine more productive. So just the basics, we already have up to six times more rigidity, we have faster tool changes, and the HSK holders come in multiple forms. They come in forms A all the way through form F, depending on the application and machine type you are, you are using. Form A being the most common, has drive keys for positive driving, and gives you the best performance for an overall type of application. Other forms besides Form A are available, as I mentioned, all the way up through Type F. Each one has its own specific application. Feel free to pick up our catalog, look in the technical section, and it does give you a brief explanation of each form type that is available. As a tool holder manufacturer, what changes are we seeing in the market? Now, we just covered a few basic advantages of the HSK holder, and we gave you some negative features of the CAT or steep taper type holder. But what are we seeing? What are we selling and what are we seeing in the machine tool market? Over the last five to seven years, we have seen a definite shift from the standard CAT 40s type tool holder to the HSK type, to the point that I would say most manufacturers today offer more HSK type machines than are offered in the standard CAT type. That does not mean the CAT holder is going in anywhere. It is still a very viable tool holding system. It just is not as rigid as the HSK. So when you are looking for your next machine or thinking about that next growth opportunity for your shop, I would definitely take a look at an HSK spindle type 
and see if that fits your needs. If it doesn't, if it's, if it's not quite what you need yet, there's nothing wrong with using the CAT. Just know there is an advantage to the HSK.